can't hardly see y'all because it's so, so bright. Let me see. I hope this thing is recording. This another day. It's not that bad. The temperature in Chicago. I think my phone said 30. It's not so bad at all. Anyway, this is another. We're going for daily exercise. We're walking away from the lake because it's cold. And when I say it's cold, it's too windy probably by Sheridan way. But here, this would do the side streets here. It's good to go out. Try and go out day and day. But I'm telling you, this difference, it's the difference I could tell uh, by doing the exercise. And they give me take home exercise. You see, I'm stopping. That's no good either for your heart rate. But uh, daily walks will help you. My stiffness comes from like if I'm sitting or laying down too long, sitting in the chair too long. But when I'm active out walking, I feel wonderful. It gives you energy and you can just walk and meditate and think how good God is. And it's better than walking on that treadmill that's inside, but I know a lot of y'all ain't good for this. It's out here, this is like Serena Williams left out here. But, uh, and I like it. You ain't gotta worry about stray animal dogs. I don't know what it is about my people getting them animals again. But when you get all outdoors by yourself, that's a good thing. Hmm. And I see you. Uh, it's, uh, it's getting better and better. I like it. Thinking about how it would be when it's warm. I look forward to Monday. You all, Monday is going to be excellent because, like I said, I'm calling the car service to come get me earlier so we can get this. And I'll be, I'll probably take going in, but since it's going to give us so much personal information, I'm probably going to pause it and then come back after it's over. Yeah. But I ain't going to keep y'all too long. But just if you can, get out and walk at least once a day. That would be good. Because uh, diabetes ain't no joke. It can come up, snatch you, or cause illnesses, my thing, blindness, or anything. So you got to take it seriously. And remember, let me just say this, as, and that goes for preachers and teachers, preachers especially, and preachers and pastors. God is the God of control. Now me, I know I have no control over eating him, but at least I'm trying. So whenever I see, now this is just my opinion, when I look up at the pulpit and they overweight, that screams, you have no control. It's, it's, that's just me. If you have control, God is not gluttony. That's in the Bible too. So let's just try eat to live, not live to eat. You know, I'm doing stuff. We got to get this weight off of us. You see what they do, pulling this. Oh, let me talk about one more thing too. Did you see how blessed we are? The last presidency would get us bone Russia don't play no games. Do you know they get Russians put up a the whisper? These Russians all over here just ready to die for what they believe. They will strap a bone to themselves, go in your place, a building, blow it up. So the thing is just, hey, and look who, the goofy, I ain't gonna say his name, but 
the goofy. Last name starts with T. First initial is D. He tried to cozy up with Putin. Do you know Putin is the devil spoon? He know hey, he would be that would be us. And all I know is this. America better be them and I ain't in this shit because I'm fit we pray for them from a distance. I'm with it. I'm scared just like uh the person no, I'm scared like I ain't getting it. I don't think America should get in that way we gotta risk we can never know who Russia. But I don't think we need to mind on way, especially black people. Now you know we ain't got nothing to do with that. Whatever they do, that's them. But American spirit said the hell out of they business because uh, the Russians ain't no joke. We was lucky enough to escape the nut controlling us there with the drugs. Can be careful. No shit, bust my head. We was uh, lucky to escape the nut cake, and so now we feeling it. And he's still talking to me very disappointed. I'm very happy your ass is out of office because them Russians ain't no joke. And they set you up, and that's it. And uh, all I know is this. Let me just say this too. YouTube ain't gonna say him for telling the truth that he would be like, oh, what if Corona would have started in my president? Idiot! The shit did start when you was president. It just um, went on and on and on. Nut cake, total fruit cake, totally gone. All I'm saying is this. America better be damn glad he out of here, cause that would have been us. And poor people in Ukraine go up this side, and why is Russia doing that? Just because they want to. Okay, send off your bag.